Back in the day when I went to college, University of Florida, back in 1974, they had required PE. So being the smart boy that I am, I decided to take an indoor sport in the air conditioning and chose fencing. I loved it so much I stayed with it and I coached at the University of Florida afterwards, then came down here and started the club up seven years ago. I've been fencing since I was 16. It was my freshman year, first semester. This would be a year and a half. We fence with three weapons that have been developed over the years depending on what part of the country we come from. I started with foil and I'm still fencing with foil. The foil is our training weapon. It's very flexible, it doesn't hurt at all, and it has a very limited target area. Stuff. Get here at 7. We're probably late at the time. Stretch uh, out. Ken will do a couple of announcements, unless we have some announcements. Do a couple of drills, nothing too fancy. Big punch. Redouble. Redouble. Everybody suits up. Couple more drills or free fencing, depending on the weapon you get. We have an epi tournament coming up this weekend. Tonight's epi night. This weapon you can kind of see with the bigger bell guard and the bigger blade. This weapon was developed from the days of the dueling back in the 1800s. We would walk up and someone would challenge you to a duel. I challenge you to a duel, Pierre. This is for like insulting my wife or my girlfriend. Your whole body is target area from your toe to your foot. So this is kind of interesting because again, you can get hit in the hand, in the head, the foot, or anything in between. How did you score? Straight punches. All the ones that are over here, nothing. I personally enjoy Saber the most. Favorite weapon? Saber, just because it's a lot more action. The Saber! became a sport based on the way we used it in the cavalry. So this is meant to be used by a warrior on horseback who's sitting on a 20 hand plus war horse. So the target area when we made this a sport is simply from the waist up. It's the craziest of all the weapons in my opinion. It's just a whole lot of fun. It's so fast. group aspect like during fencing tournaments like I like how everyone is like you're fencing individually but I like how it's a team team members please please be please be there anybody else who wants to fence the individual FA feel free to come too right so even if you're not on the team you can come as an extra somebody gets hurt or something you fill in for the teammates right yeah this club and all fencing clubs I think tend to build a lot of camaraderie when you're attacking each other with swords with pointy ends pretending to have to kill each other night after night works out really nicely. Priority, surprisingly, is pretty decent. Even though you're competing against each other, it's still like a team aspect. And this is usually, like even after this practice, we'll probably go out together and just hang out and eat. Tonight, for example, on Fridays, we always go to the Waffle House. After every Friday, we all go to the Waffle House. And we uh, get in our two favorite booths and bug the uh, waitresses there. And we're very welcoming to new, newer members to come and hang out with us as well. We want them to feel like we're all friends here. That's the kind of environment we want to in this club. We're competitive, but also relaxed. 